good morning. It is 8.14, Saturday, August the 27th. I am on my way to do my first day of community service since getting my speeding ticket and going to court. Yeah, speeding ticket. I don't have to do community service. I didn't get put on community service. But I'm going down here to knock some money off the fine that I got. Uh, it's freaking ridiculous. Uh, I got called. Uh, I'm not going to say the speed, but what happened was two cars in front of me were doing some road rage shit on a two lane highway, interstate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't know if some of y'all are familiar with I 16. But, uh, yeah, anyway, they were coming over, swerving over, trying to hit each other. And my girlfriend, she got kind of freaked out. We almost wrecked. All BS aside. Literally almost got hit. And, yeah, so as soon as I seen an uh, opening where I could speed up and get away from everybody, I did it. Well, the cop seen it all, but at the same time, he didn't pull me over. I pulled over. Then I looked over to my immediate left, and he's sitting there with his lights on. So I'm sitting there, you know, talking to her, calming her down. You know, like a good boyfriend should. And anyway, he pulls behind me, asks me if we are okay. And then proceeds to ask me for my license and registration that he caught me doing obsessive speed going down the interstate. Um, yeah. So that was some BS. I tried to explain that to the judge and I told her, I said, you know, I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking you for, to watch the camera to see what really happened and to tell if this was justified or not. Because to me, it wasn't justified. But I'm not a judge, and I'm not a cop. I don't hate the cop for doing it, and I'm not upset about the cop for doing it. He has to do his job. It is what it is. So, I don't feel the justification in paying out of my pocket for the speeding ticket. So, I'd rather do community service. And y'all a lot of y'all are gonna be like, are you fucking kidding me? You wanna work for free instead of giving away money? Well the thing about it is is I don't know where you live, but Macon, Georgia and Middle Georgia, we have a whole heap a lot of fucking dogs, cats, wild animals that people take in, they breed. They can no longer do anything with, so they just let them out in the open. Uh, I've got some friends who work down here for the city of Macon. And the county, I guess, what it is now. Bibb County. <coughs> and I read their Facebooks and I talk to them and they're super overloaded. They work way too fucking much. And they got a lot of dogs in. So, why not? I'm an animal lover. I hate fucking cats, though. I, I, I mean, I'll, I can get along with a cat, but I really don't. I would never own a cat. I would not go out of my way to buy a cat. And, I mean, I fed cats. Like, because I feel bad because we as human beings are the reason they're homeless. We're the reason they're out in the wild. It's not their choice. We did it by not taking care of them. But anyway, uh, I'm on the way out here now. I'll shoot some more video. But anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. I'll probably shoot some more video inside. 
let y'all see what I have to deal with today. It's gonna be fun. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do some videos inside the place. I'm gonna try maybe some pictures. Don't know, we'll see. But anyway, uh, if you see, you know, you like, please like, please subscribe, please share. Um, kind of outside of my league but this is something I have to do and I'm gonna show y'all if I can yep I'm pulling up now Oh, so what's up? Uh, man, it's uh, 127. I had to leave uh, a little community service early. Uh, oh, Y'all like the shirt? Don't tread on me. Anyway, uh, I had to leave community service early. Yeah, so like I said, it's 127. Uh, man, there's a lot of dogs at that place a lot of dogs over three quarters of them are a pit bull mix and that's sad as a pit bull owner um it's 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 heartbreaking <coughs> it's so reasonably priced to get your dog spayed or neutered it's reasonably priced to take care of your dog. I, I mean, I would not eat if my dogs didn't eat first. I, I just, I don't understand how people do it. Um, I was there with a nice young lady. She, uh, me and her were talking and she had to give up a dog because the apartment building or the house she was living in at the time the owner was like either get out or get rid of the dogs because they had puppies um, to me that's bull crap I would have got out but I understand where she's coming from like she couldn't lose her place to stay right then and there um, but I mean she still got eviction notice she's got to you know live out but I'm sorry if it gets a little windy in here. My air conditioner and my car broke. It no longer works. It is 97 fucking degrees outside. So it's about a little bit more than that inside this car. And I got all the windows up so I can talk to y'all. Every once in a while, I, you hear them. I'll pop them down. Oh, cool off just a second. Right back up. But anyway, um, man, I just say this, like, um, a lot of people spend money on dogs for no reason. Man, there is a expensive ass Cocker Spaniel. Uh, there's a hunting dog. Like I said, there are plenty of pit bull mixes. 
There's a lot of full-blooded pits. A couple of chihuahuas. And a couple of labs. It, I mean, it, it sucked. I, like I said, I am a dog lover. Dog lover. Uh, I'm not fond of cats, but man, there's a shit ton of cats in there. I'm sorry, like, he's, uh, 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 but it's hooked on my steering wheel. But, uh, shit ton of cats. Uh, kittens. Uh, there's a couple of mother pit bulls down there. And it sucks because the mama pit bulls have been taken, uh, removed from the house or the property by law enforcement. For whatever reason and it sucks because you can tell the mama just had puppies what happened to the puppies nobody knows maybe the owner was uh, neglecting the puppies they may have died uh, the mother didn't look that bad but I mean it still could have been something wrong with her when uh, the animal police found them but there was one dog in there, man. They had to cut six pounds. Listen to what I'm saying. Six pounds of hair. It was like a long hair, something, I don't know. But his hair was matted. I tried to get a picture of this dog, but you know, when they're back there where I was at working, which next weekend, uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna do community service, but. I'll figure that out. But back there where I was working, those dogs are taken from the owners. Uh, they got a case pending. So you can't take pictures. You can't post anything about them. Uh, so I got in trouble. Because I did take some pictures. And I will be posting them. Just to show you, like, and I mean, it's not many. Uh, it's like one cat and a couple of dogs. But that's before I got in trouble. And I was told I couldn't do it anymore. There's a German Shepherd, a fucking police dog. An Alaskan Husky. Um, I mean, I, could, I don't even know. Like, I was only allowed in three dorms. And I'm telling you, this place is set up like a fucking prison. Like a straight jail. It's got little jail windows, jail bathroom, jail commodes. Like, seriously, jail commode, stainless steel fucking jail shit houses. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I say that to say this, you know, the hell with buying a dog, adopt a dog. There's so many puppies in that place. It's not funny. You know, you want a young dog to train? They're young puppies. They're a couple of year old puppies who've been trained. People just didn't want them anymore. Couldn't take care of them. I, I don't see how people do it. I, it'd be like throwing your kid out the door and saying, you know, fuck off. Couldn't do it. But anyway, y'all have a good one. Uh, me and Savannah probably do another video tonight. Not sure. Just depends on how she feels. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Oh, yeah. Like, subscribe, subscribe, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.